Hey, boys. Sorry, one second. Oh, there you go. Do you want me to? Hi, how are you? Oh, good. I'm good. <laughs> A little nervous, but good. <laughs> You'll be great. I think once you get into it, it'll be uh, smooth sailing. I think you're right. Just need to breathe. <laughs> I was doing fine until I was like, oh, I need to hurry up and get my thing going. I was like, right? I know, I was feeling that too. I was like, I'm fine, everything's good. And then. <laughs> Your hair looks good. <laughs> I was going to uh, straighten it and then. Time. Like, you know what? <laughs> It's raining and I'm gonna be in the rain to get to my car, so probably not. Mm. Oh, I wanted to have like a timer up or something. Well, I'll just look at the clock. And you're seeing my screen share? Um, I have the schedule of events. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Awesome. All right, hi everybody. Thank you for joining us today for the virtual wedding show. Um, I would like to thank our sponsors today. Um, without their help, this event wouldn't be possible at all. Um, I would also like to thank Idaho Tents and Events and IBL Events. Um, next, I would like to remind everyone that we are recording these sessions today. So if you miss someone that you really wanted to see, you will have the opportunity later on. We'll be posting this online. Um, presenter contact information will also be in the event schedule as well if you need to reach out to them after the session. Uh, we do have Q&A available today. You'll see it at the bottom of your screen. So brides, if you have any questions, please feel free to use that feature and we will answer all your questions by the end of the presentation. Um, last item of business, in order to keep us on time today, I will be coming back on the screen with about five minutes left and I will help answer any questions and prepare for the next presenter. So now without further ado, I'm gonna introduce Blythe with Blythe Lee Photographing and she's gonna tell you about her company. Hi. <laughs> we good to go? I think we're good. All right, thanks so much, Tori, appreciate that. I am so excited to have you guys all here. I know with all this crazy COVID stuff, we're just adapting to, to new life. So on that note, Photography. Um, so many couples want stunning photographs, right? Me included. <laughs> but we don't want to feel super awkward or super posed or contrived. And we want the realness of them to show through, you know, with all of our loved ones. And at the same time, look like they came out of a magazine. <laughs> That's where I come in. I take the creative and the beautiful and the intentional and I mesh it with that genuine and that the humanity of it all. Um, when I take photographs, I'm not just thinking about how amazing it will be for you now. I'm thinking about the images that you need in life to remind you day in and, and to remind you day out that you have your person and you're the luckiest person to have found your person. <laughs> What I really want is that when you look at your photographs five or 10 or 50 years down the road that you just smile, you know, you just laugh. Like you can't help but express the joy and the memories that you have. Does that make sense? I'm gonna share my screen with you guys now and share some work so you get a good feel of what Blakely photographing can do. Are we seeing that? Yes, we are screen sharing. I hope when you look at the photographs, you can see the stunning beauty, but like, I love this picture. <laughs> That's just the reality. Like it's beautiful, but it's real, you know, and you don't have to be models to have these beautiful images. These are normal couples, just like you. Um, to have these stunning quality images that, that really, you know, tell a story. Um, yeah, 
I kind of really love what I do, you guys. <laughs> Doesn't looking at these pictures just make you smile? I don't know, it makes me smile. I love it. And, you know, honestly, as someone who has planned their own wedding, like I know that you care deeply about the people in your life and the time that you've put into planning it and the details. Um, and I, I know what photographs can do for you. And I, I know because I wanted them. I actually did not invest in a good photographer <laughs> for my wedding. And I have regretted it every day since. Um, I never wanted that to happen to another couple. So a huge part of my process is coming alongside you and learning what you guys value. I don't want to take a bunch of pictures of people that you don't care about. I learn, you know, who, who are the people that have supported you the most? Who do you love so much? And then I make sure to capture on those days their reaction and their support for you. Um, I really want that when you, like I said, in 10 years, when you look back at your wedding, like you just, all of your memories come rushing back as you look through that wedding album. Um, I want to show you, I've got another slide here. I'm gonna pause this. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna pull this up. Generational heirlooms. So a big part of Blythe photographing is providing you with something that's tangible. Like you're gonna get all of the digital files and all the high resolution um, yeah, files and the printing rights. You'll be able to print however you want, whenever you want for the rest of your life with no watermarks. You won't have to go through me. But on top of that, you get something better. <laughs> you get something real. You get to pass down and, and pass on to your kids. And so I'm gonna actually stop the screen share for a second and show you some of the, the albums. You can get a kind of feel. If we were in person, it's so much cooler because you can look through the book and feel and really tell the quality. But the the um the albums are um custom designed and they're museum grade i'm going to adjust this just a little bit um so you can see this is our 12 one of our 12 by 12 leather albums and this was a wedding that was actually done at the chateau and de Fleur in eagle and oh, we'll see if you can see this Kind of a big thing. These are some of the detail shots we did at the beginning of the day, but I want to skip ahead because this is such a unique um, day for, for this couple. Her mom had passed away and his dad had passed away and she was really nervous about who could help her get into her dress. And so she just had all the women in her life help her get ready. And when you see these photographs, like you can just see the emotion, like she's teary eyed in that one. Um, that's her mother-in-law, assumed to be mother-in-law. Just, they're all so pleased. Um, that's her stepmom. And then when you look at his photographs, um, her, oh, and this one I love. They did a daddy-daughter first look. Like seriously, so, so sweet. And just look at that. I just love the joy. Um, we get to his, his getting ready. And um, I think I might've skipped it, but her dad helped him get ready and he had a special pocket watch and a hat from his dad. There's the packet pocket watch, but there's just details that, you know, are going to be important to you. And I want to make sure that those are preserved as part of your memories. This is walking down the aisle. Um, just the joy, like everyone is so excited for them. Um, oh, this one's the best. Her dad slipped on the, on the veil on his way out, but just the emotion of, of the whole day. And then just seeing all the people that have come to celebrate you and just the funny moments that happen, but they're going to look beautiful, right? They're going to look beautiful, timeless, classic, and they're going to be yours. Um, a lot of, so every single one of our collections comes with these museum grade albums. I just never wanted you to have a wedding without an album, so I made it part of it. <laughs> I'm going to share my screen again, get back to that um, preview. Okay, so here we go. Um, like I said, high quality albums, and all of the collections come with one, but some of them also come with an engagement album. So this is, uh, I don't know if you can see me, but I've got a little engagement album here just to make it um, 
well, I guess this is a, this is the size that it would be. I don't think that's major. Okay, we're gonna move on. So four couples in today's show, I have a gift for you. <laughs> you get $500 off any wedding collection. Um, it does expire in a month from now, so you have time to you know, look at other photographers. You're gonna, hear, you're gonna hear from some other great ones here today. And you really just wanna find the best one that matches you. It doesn't even have to be me. Just make the time <laughs> and take, take the time and make the investment in getting a really good photographer that's gonna fit you and fit what you want and fit what your needs are. Um, anyways, I'm super excited to hear more about what you guys have planned. Um, it's a little weird for me not being able to like interact with you, but I'm going to get over that. <laughs> Anyways, so screenshot this page. Um, if you just refer to it later, I'll 100% honor it. You don't even have to have the screenshot if you, if you don't have it. Um, but that is available for you guys, regardless of when you watch this show it expires July 14th. Lastly, um, these are just kind of some some follow-up things. So you're ready to start a legacy. I want your photographs to help you be on your first step. Um, getting that taken care of is such a relief. You know that your memories are going to be preserved and I want you to feel like so happy and excited that you, that you have um, made the choice that you've made. So first of all, uh, if you feel like potentially Wesley photographing would be a good fit, text me right now. It doesn't matter when you're watching this, text me your first name and tell me that you saw me on the the bridal show, the virtual bridal show, and I'll be in touch. Um, if you're if you're watching this on June 13th, I'll I'll reach out to you next week because I know you're going to be going through a lot of stuff, and that's okay. Um, my number's there. And then if you just want to learn more about the process and what it's like, and hear from other couples that have worked with Blythe Photographing, um, I really love all the people that I get to work with. Honestly. You guys are just great. <laughs> Anyways, so there's my website as well. Um, Tori, do we have any questions? Um, it doesn't look like we have any questions at this time. So if you have any questions for Blythe, please type it in the Q&A down at the bottom. And then um, she will be happy to answer those for you in just a sec. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the slideshow up again so you guys can look through that because I know it kind of went really fast. Um, gotta share the screen a little bit differently. There we go. Start at the beginning. Pure joy. <laughs> But I want you guys to think about what kind of photographs you want. It's like, do you want the more posed? Do you want more, the more candid, the more natural? Um, when we, in my opinion, when we mix the candid and authentic and real moments together with like that just stunning quality and style, like that's where the magic happens. <laughs> and that makes me thrilled. It's not uncommon for me to be squealing with delight <laughs> during engagement sessions or just seeing the love that you guys have. And I know that you probably haven't been in front of a camera very often. Don't worry, I help guide you through that. This is a couple we just did last week, that engagement session up at the military reserve. And they had never had professional photos done before. Um, but this is them again, their dog's so cute. <laughs> um, but their session went so well. I play, we, we basically just play. <laughs> it's really fun, it's relaxed gives you a really good opportunity to practice being in front of the camera and what it's like working with me. And you just get to interact. Um, it's really for me about drawing your true and real personalities out. <laughs> I love that one. Um, and just allowing you to be you and give you the quality images that, that you deserve. So I'm gonna pull this page up again. Um, so you have my information. Again, text me anytime. Um, I love helping couples. So if you want extra help, I know you've not done this before. Helping you find certain vendors is important. I've been in the industry for nearly a decade and I know a lot of really, really awesome people. Um, you're gonna hear from some of them throughout the day. And there are others that weren't even able to make it on this show. Um, Boise has a lot of really great people. <laughs> um, and I service areas in Boise, McCall, and Sun Valley. 
and worldwide. You can see in this picture, this is actually in Santorini, Greece. Um, this one is in Utah. So it really doesn't matter <laughs> where you want to go. Um, the options are limitless. Um, kind of how it works from here is you text me. We set up a time to talk on the phone for a bit um, and make sure that we're a good fit. I want to hear more about you guys and what you value. And you're going to want to hear more about pricing and um, what things I focus on on a wedding day and make sure that's exactly what you want. Make sure it lines up. And if all that works out, then we schedule a consult where you and your man and I, we all get together. I rarely book a wedding without seeing you guys to seeing you both together in person. Like it's so important to me to see the connection that you have so that I can serve you a million times better. <laughs> Um, so that's really important to me. So we'll have a consult and then you get to just decide, um, you get to relax and make sure that's taken care of and you're set It's easy as can be. Um, I know we've still got five more minutes. I don't know if any questions have shown up, Tori. Um, it does not look like we have any questions yet. If any of the brides have any questions for Blythe, feel, please feel free to type it in down below in the Q&A section of your Zoom bar. You'll see it right in there and then we'll get those answered for you. Thanks so much, Troy, I appreciate it. Of course. <laughs> when questions come, it's easier. I have more things to talk about. <laughs> I'll start out with a question. Um, what's your favorite thing about photographing couples on their special day? Oh, I love that question. Um, for me, it's that like throughout the hustle and bustle of the day, there's a lot of unease or, or not unease, but just nervousness. You know, it's exciting, but you've also never done this before. So you don't quite know what's going to happen. And then when you guys get together, whether you do a first look or you do a traditional and we do photos after you walk down the aisle, like it's just, you're the only two people in the world. And there's that fresh right after you've been married or fresh right after you see each other for the first time that is just so intentional and romantic and you know you you come out of your shells um i know it's a big concern sometimes uh men don't love to getting their photos taken um i should be more specific I have met other people who <laughs> don't like to have their photograph taken, but I found that like a lot of the grooms really open up because we have that relationship, the three of us, like they feel comfortable enough to just be themselves and you as well, um, in front of the camera. And then they can just be, you know, their quirky self and kind and just the true colors come out and you joke and you laugh and we get just beautiful images and it's just my absolute favorite on the day is that fresh moment when it all becomes real to you guys and then we get you in front of the camera it's quite magical <laughs> and then also the family like your family is really important to you and they are so happy for you um and you can just see the happiness on their faces that's something in um, can you see me tori yeah, I can see you on the side, um, this side while you're sharing your screen. Well, I'll stop sharing really quick. I'm going to show a little bit in this um, album again, just for a few more minutes. Um, the end of the day, just seeing the guests that are coming to celebrate with them. This is during, I think it's during cocktail hour. Um, but they're just so happy for the couple and like, ah, oh, that grandma, that makes me happy. <laughs> Um, all these people are there to celebrate you guys and you're just having these quiet little moments and you're not even going to know I'm there. Honestly, like for the times that you're together as a couple, you know, when, when we're doing your own portraits, obviously it's just us three. So you're going to know I'm there, but the rest of the day, I just follow you around and you won't even know it. And we're going to get these great, hilarious. This picture is so funny. Look at his face. Where is he? Oh, I think it's on another page. Yeah, it's the brother. She was telling a story about how they like locked him out of his house during the toast <laughs> and he was like not thrilled about it, but they thought it was so funny. And so they're cracking up about it, but laughing tears. Like you're going to remember what the toasts were when you see these images. I even remember it. And I don't even know these people. Well, I know them now. We're actually good friends now, but 
don't worry, you don't have to stay my friend forever. I'll just be really happy if you are. <laughs> um, just, and then we have the, the portraits afterwards and just getting really beautiful images of you guys that show who you are and the people that are important to you. This is actually a really special moment. It's a little bit too personal for me to share to a bunch of you guys, but this page meant so much to the bride as a special friend of her mom. Um, this is the going off into the car, driving away. It's just the whole day and you get it all in your own book. So the way the albums work, I'll just wrap up real quick. The way the albums work is I will custom design the whole thing for you. And then we actually get to sit down together because I'm not gonna know, you know exactly what's the most important thing to you, right? So we get together and we fine tune it. So I've done the hard work and then you guys get to make sure that only the images that you want, oops, I'm playing the wrong thing. Only the images that you want are um, in your wedding album. And that's the most important thing to me is that it's customized to what you guys care about. So again, text me whenever you're watching this, you can text that number. Um, we'll kind of coordinate just to hear more and see if we're a good fit. You can learn more on my website, blithelyphotographing.com. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. And that's all. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for watching with me. And I'm so excited for you. Great job, Blythe. Thank you so much um, for taking the time to speak to all the brides today. Um, brides, if you have any questions after today, please feel free to contact Blythe and she'll answer them for you. Thanks, Tori. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Sorry, one second. Hey, Jonathan, how's it going? Good, thank you. All right, I'm just gonna do a quick introduction really quick and then the floor will be yours. Give me one second here to okay. pull up the graphic. All righty. All right, so thank you brides for joining us today for the virtual wedding show. Um, I would like to thank all of our sponsors. Without their help, this event would not have even been possible. Um, I would also like to thank Idaho Tents and Events as well as IBL Events. Um, next, I would like to remind everyone that we are recording these sessions today. So if you missed someone that you really wanted to see, you'll still have that opportunity later on. We will be posting these videos online later on. Um, and the presenter contact information is also available in the event schedule. So if you miss it in the session today, make sure you head on over there so you know how to reach out uh, to the panelists. Uh, we will have questions and answers today. So brides, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to use that feature at the bottom of your screen and we'll answer them at the end of the presentation. And last item of business and efforts to keep us on time today, um, I will be coming back on the screen with about five minutes left and help answer any questions and prepare for our next presenter. So without further ado, let me get my screen ready to go. All right, Jonathan with Memories Live, uh, the floor is yours. All right, um, well, thanks everybody. I appreciate, appreciate y'all coming out. Um, so kind of wanted to tell you a little bit about what it is that um, my company Memories Live does. Um, I, I know you're in here for the photography section and, uh, um, and while I, I'm not necessarily a photographer um, and I'm also not necessarily a videographer. So what I do is uh, we create a, a live production of your wedding. And here, let me flash some, um, I'm going to throw up my contact information there at the bottom. And so really, and I'll, and I'll leave that so that way you can write it down. But really what I do is, is I want to create a, a live production of your wedding. So I bring three cameras, at least sometimes four. Um, I, so wireless microphones that'll come and bring. Um, I, I have a white one on right now, as you can see here. So this is as big as it goes. We'll usually send this with the bride. And then, um, and then I have a black one that uh, is the same setup and that will usually go with either the groom or the officiant. So that way we're getting good, high quality audio with you. Um, 
what we'll do is we'll create a, a, a live production, like I had mentioned, um, complete with you know a couple different camera options. Right, you can see we switched cameras there. I have some kind of cool features that you know we can do um, picture in picture, and then we can you know I'll, so a lot of times I'll throw in some music, um, so that way we're not picking up live music uh, through another speaker. So this is just kind of some some stuff we do there. Um, I, I really want to, um, we're, we're a new company, right? So right now is, is the best time uh, for, for you guys to be able to jump in and, and get these prices that I'm offering at a, at a super low, low rate. Um, also, like you may be wondering, well, do I need a live production of my event or do I need a videographer uh, or a photographer, right? And what, what my company really is here to do is to uh, work seamlessly with a videographer and a photographer. And then kind of the main, so when we're creating that live production, um, we're also streaming that. And so what we'll do is, you know, everything that happens in real time will be streamed uh, to a website. So as opposed to streaming to Facebook Live or, uh, YouTube or, you know, there's Twitch, there's a whole bunch of mediums that we can live stream to. However, what we really don't, I don't like to do that because I have to rely on that, uh, that company servers and those can be spotty intermittent. I don't know if you've seen every once in a while, you know, they're trying to watch a video and it goes down. So what I've done is on my website, memories live, um, memories live, idaho.com. It'll have the, it'll have a view that you can, um, so you'll push out to all your family members and they can go and, and on that webpage, it'll have a view your wedding. Uh, we provide a custom uh, unique password for you to give out to all your family and friends. And so that, that will be password protected. So there's no need for grandma to have a, a Facebook account or, you know, a YouTube and how you're dealing with that. All you need is the simple password that I, that I give to you and then internet access. We, we try to stream in full uh, 1080 high definition video. So um, kind of like what you're seeing right now. Um, however, we are limited, right? There's no, there's no way that I can bring, um, there's no way that I can bring that, or I, excuse me, sorry. There's, there's no way that I can guarantee that I'm gonna be able to have, you know, somebody download in full 1080p. Um, just because of internet speeds. So, and then there's also a spot where I, the internet that it's at your event or venue, um, that that can be a, a limiting factor, right? So there are some limiting factors when we're trying to live stream a wedding. So I wanna work with you and, you know, help identify the best solution, but we really have two different routes that we can go. We can create a live production of your wedding and then we can stream that. Um, and so um, if, so say we get through it and, you know, your wedding's going and it's going off without a hitch that, you know, everything's going great as far as you're concerned, but maybe on my end, I have a technical difficulty and there's, you know, we have interrupted internet service. Um, so, and that actually just happened two weeks ago um, when I was doing another wedding and um, I've got some pictures here that we can slap on. So when we were doing this wedding, we had, um, I had an interrupted internet. There was a big storm that came in and, and the internet was, was interrupted. Um, and so we lost the live stream. However, what happened was, and what I definitely recommend um, that, you know, is a good contingency plan that we'll, we'll broadcast to, to all your family and friends that may be tuning in, is that if there is an interrupted uh, time, then what I'll do is as soon as the event's concluded, I will directly upload this video onto the whole live production. So the whole live production that we've made, I'll directly upload that onto the site and then you'll, and then you'll family and friends will be able to watch that video um, for, you know, and I'm highly customizable, um, but generally I keep it open for about 48 to 72 hours. Uh, where they can go and rewind and fast forward and see what they want and and all that. So if there is if if we're concerned about streaming, um, 
you know, if the internet service just is spotty or we're not, you know, we're not sure that it's going to be able to support full high definition video, which unfortunately takes some very high, fast, high speed internet. And when, when we're doing weddings out, you know, in a farm or, you know, up in the mountains, right, it can be really hard um, to guarantee that internet. So this is a great opportunity and great option is that, hey, we'll just go create a live production. Um, we'll just go create a live production of your, your wedding and then we'll upload it within a couple, uh, like it takes me, depending on my connectivity, but it takes me about 20 minutes to upload the full video and, and that's the, the production and, and all that. Um, so that's really what Memories Live is, is here to do um, and what we're trying to solve an issue, right? There's, there's so many with, with COVID-19 that's come out and I mean, why we're doing this virtual wedding show right now right? Like the things have changed and how we approach weddings and how we approach videography and how we approach photography is all having to change. And so what we're trying to do is, is adapt, uh, adapt to the changing market and provide a service that I, I think is really um, critical in this time. And uh, so that's, that's what Memories Live is here to do. Um, again, I'm Jonathan and uh, let me put up my contact information there for you. Um, so my name is Jonathan, and 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 we're we're here to do this. Um, probably should mention the brass tacks of of things, and I I know I had given a, a spot earlier um, saying that you know we're I I, I think we're we're very reasonable. Um, so on average, I'm like I said, I'm highly customizable in, in our packages and how long um, how long we take, but. I will we'll generally start at about $150 and we can go up to about 450 to, to 500, depending on uh, how long you want me there. So if we want to do the whole kit and caboodle, you want me to be on there all day, just sitting in the background, doing a live stream and, uh, and, and, and live production of your, your wedding, you getting ready, people milling around, setting up, right? All that. We're at about $500. Um, I also, um, but if you want me just for the ceremony, right, where it's just come and you have a 20 to 45 minute ceremony, um, that, you know, that's going to be your cheapest option. And, and generally, depending on if there's travel or other circumstances, we're at about $200 um, for that whole thing. So uh, you may be asking like, wow, why is this so cheap when some videographers are, you know, upwards of $1,000 and, you know, and all that, which like I said, I'm not here to compete with them. And I think that they provide a, a very, a very great service. And it's really cool to have a fully edited video that's all touched up and, you know, everything's done like that. Um, but that's what their equipment is for, right? So they're recording in 4k, um, sometimes even 6k would, you know, just the, the resolution. And, um, unfortunately we can't stream in 4k and 6k. So, my equipment is solely designed, um, and, I've, and all the equipment I purchased is is just for uh, this is just for streaming. Um, so that's why we're able to keep the overhead really low and reasonable, and trying to pass that on to you guys. Um, and so I think that's that's really uh, I, I covered most of what I was trying to go for. Um, you know, we're like I said. I just want you to reach out to me. I want you to talk to me. Um, I, I think we can probably provide, provide a solution um, for just about anything you have. Um, I think I mentioned that you can get a recording of the video. Um, so what I have is um, all my, uh, excuse me, sorry, I had a camera beep on me. Um, yep, so it's still there. Um, but so you can, for an extra $25, I'll give you an SD card that has all the camera angles as well. So I'll, so the three to four cameras that I have up going at all times, it'll record those into a separate file. And then you'll also have the production um, that I'm producing as, as we're going, as we're going through this. So uh, with, with that being said, that's why we work so great with other videographers is because they're gonna they're gonna provide you their three to four sometimes five minute video and we can bring four other camera angles that they can maybe only capture one or two at a time um, generally they're they're you know single single person shows um, so you know they're they're doing that uh, I know I've done a lot of talking um, I hopefully I've you know been able to with changing some camera angles and 
um, you know, I can kind of show you what what it is that uh, that we have to bring to the table. Um, I guess Victoria, I'll, I'll see if there's any questions that have rolled in um, since I've been talking. I think we've still got about six minutes left, but I want to be respectful to, to everybody's time. And um, uh, so, yeah, Victoria, have there been any um, questions come through on on for me? Um, it doesn't look like we have any questions yet, um, but I have a question for you. Um, yeah, what do you please. love most about um, working with weddings and the brides? Yeah, so that's that's great. Um, so my, uh, I'll kind of give you since Memories Live is just coming on, just coming onto the scene, and um, so I'll give you a little bit of background of how we got started. Um, my father-in-law owns a wedding venue uh, in Nampa. Um, it's called Sunflower Lane. And we were talking uh, a handful of months ago about the weddings and, and if he's had uh, any cancellations and stuff like that. And um, he had mentioned that, yeah, there was some cancellations and some changing things. Uh, and just through a, a casual conversation with him, um, we came to this idea of live streaming. Um, I'm, a, I'm a tech guy. Um, I've always been involved in technology and writing um, recreational code writing and, and stuff, but um, I am I am in the army full time, and that's my active duty. I'm active duty army here in Idaho, and so to to be to be provided this opportunity and situation um, that we've had and be able to capitalize on it has been a really fun experience. And then, uh, like I said, I, my the the one wedding I, I did a couple weeks ago, it's it's so great to be, um, to be able to celebrate in other people's, um, their time of their lives. And I, I'm, every time I go to a different wedding, I'm taken back to me and my wife's wedding. And, um, it's, it's really fun to be there and to be able to capture this in a super unique way that, that really nobody's doing. And so that's, that's a huge, a huge aspect to me. I just, I, I love, I love being able to bring a couple of my unique skills, uh, to the table and, and helping solve an issue and then having that be done when it's, you know, your, the greatest day of, I mean, it was my greatest day. I still have yet to have a better day than, than when I married my wife. And so to be able to share in that is that's, that's really why I love, love this. I love this time and being able to do this. And, um, you know, everybody in this wedding industry has been, has been super great and helping me get up and get started and, there's there's love all around. I, I totally feel it. Awesome. It uh, looks like we've had a couple more brides join us. So brides, if you have any questions, oh, we have a question. Okay. Um, how far in advance do we need to book? So that's the great thing is um, I'm still doing a, a pretty heavy marketing push, and. Uh, because I'm not well booked. I've, I have three or four events that are booked. Um, I can generally be able to, uh, be able to, to act on, on a booking pretty quickly. Um, so I'm not like booked out for the next year, two years, cause you're really getting in the ground floor. And, uh, so we can, you can give me a call text. If you were just joining, um, let me flash my contact information there. So if you were just joining, this is my contact information right here. And um, reach out, call, text, email. Um, you can submit a, a bid request online and we can work and see. And sometimes I won't be able to make it um, either due to booking or other scheduling conflicts, but I can pretty much guarantee you that um, we're, we have the time. Excellent. Um, it looks like we have another question. Um, if we give you a list of people who are not able to attend, can you give them shout outs on screen as they watch the wedding? Great question. Yeah, that, that is a great question. So, um, I, I definitely can, and, and maybe you can message a follow-up, um, a follow-up question, but, um, so I can give them, I can say, Hey, thanks for joining. And we can roll a list of, of everybody who we know to, is joining. Also, another feature, though, that I, I didn't mention that, that I, I want to make sure we hit is I, on where they're viewing the wedding um, on the website, 
they can leave a comment. So if like, so they can leave a shout out to you, which, um, and then vice versa, we can leave a shout out to them if we want, uh, where I can flash it on the screen. Um, so we, we definitely can be totally customizable in that regard. But the last one, I think I had like, uh, it was 30 ish comments that all uh, went through. And so what I'll do is uh, all those comments from all your friends and family that are, are viewing from wherever um, I'll, I'll take those and I'll compile those at the end after everything, like, you know, a day or so after your wedding. And then I can give you those and we can overlay them on the video. That way you have that to, um, to see what people are saying, but I, hopefully that, that covered your question, but yeah, we definitely can. Um, if, if we want to throw a flash up, I mean, kind of like you see how I'm, um, throwing some, so like my, my contact information, right. So we can do stuff like that, that we can lay on the, uh, on the video. I also have, you know, like a fully, we can use Photoshop and um, can customize a, a little title screen for you. I, I really am more, I can make just about anything happen. So it's, it's up to you and, and, and really what, what we want to do. Um, I know we're close. So I want to make sure Victoria that we hit all the questions, if there's any follow-ups or anything. Yes, that is all the questions that we have today. Um, Brides, if you have any questions for Jonathan later, please make sure you reach out to him um, with the contact information that he just threw up on the screen. Um, and yeah, he'd love to chat with you later with any questions you may have. And I think that's just okay. about time. So thank you so much, Jonathan, for your time today. We really appreciate it. Thank you again. It was, it was a pleasure and, and I really had a, a, had a, a great time and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get to, to see a lot more. Absolutely. Thank you. All righty. So bring back in our next presenter. Hi, yeah. Heather. Hi. All right. I'm just going to give my quick introduction. Okay. All right. So thank you, Brides, for joining us today for the virtual wedding show. Um, I would like to thank all of our sponsors today. Without them, this event would not have been possible at all. Um, we would also like to thank Idaho Tencent, Tencent Events as well as IBL Events. Um, I would like to remind everyone that we are recording these sessions today. So if you miss someone that you really wanted to see, you'll be able to have that opportunity to watch their session later on online. Um, presenter contact information will also be available in the event schedule if you don't get a chance to screenshot or write it down. Uh, we will have questions and answers available today. So if you have any questions, um, feel free to use that feature down at the bottom of your screen and we'll answer those towards the end of the presentation. And last item of business, in an effort to keep us on time today, uh, I will be coming back on the screen with about five minutes left um, to help facil facilitate the answering of questions and prepare for our next presenters. So without further ado, we have Heather with Heather Jackson Photography. And let me just stop my screen share and you are ready to go, Heather. Awesome. Hello, everyone. It is so fun to be connecting and talking with you in this virtual way. I'm going to do my best to talk about everything I want to show you in a short amount of time. Um, first off, I want to introduce myself a little bit. I'm actually from Colorado. I grew up in Colorado, but I visit Idaho many, many times a year for many different reasons. Um, the first reason being I love to go river surfing in Boise. You guys have an amazing wave there. Um, also, my grandfather built a solar cabin up in the Sawtooth National Forest um, many, many years ago when I was just a child. And I've been visiting the Big Smoky Mountains many times a year ever since then. So I'm so excited to shoot more couples in Idaho and come to Idaho as much as possible, especially for my business. Um, a little bit more about me. I've been a photographer since I was 19, so over 10 years now, and lots of recent developments. I've only been in weddings for about six years, but I used to be a sports photographer before that, and I love, love, love weddings so much. All my couples mean so much to me. I was recently published in Rock and Roll Bride, which means so much to me, so exciting. Um, and actually a few other publications as well this year. Um, so I feel special in that way. And a new magazine called From the Daisies, I encourage you to check that out. 
And without further ado, I'm going to share my screen and talk about my work a little bit. So let me hide this. Here is my website. I encourage you to go check it out and see what I'm all about. I love outdoor and indoor weddings, but my specialty is outdoor mountains, weddings, elopements um, for all, all kinds of people, all kinds of couples. And let's see, I've been featured in a few places and June Bug Weddings um, labeled me one of their best wedding photographers this year, which makes me so happy. Um, I'm going to scroll through some of these galleries so that you can see the variety of couples that I shoot and really the overall vibe that I like to capture, which is adventure and authentic emotion, authenticity. Um, I love documentar documentary style photography. So I capture every single moment and you get all the in-between moments as well. Um, I love, I really love connecting with my couples. I want to be a part of your day. I want to help you plan as much as you want me to be involved. Timelines, outfits, um, helping to corral the families and the friends for all of our photos and helping party as well. I want to be a joyful, fun presence on your wedding day, especially during your reception when we are all there to celebrate your big day. Um, one of the ways I get to know my couples is by sending out a questionnaire. And there's lots of different questions on here and they get, some of them get pretty personal. And that's for a reason. I want to know how you work as a couple, how, how I can connect with you and what is going to make both of you most comfortable. And you'll see some of the questions I answer are more philosophical or ask are more philosophical and some of them are funnier. Would you make out in public? <laughs> yes or no. Um, and this stuff really helps me understand how I can best serve you and how to help make your day you exactly you not for anyone else but really represent you and your partner in the best way possible um, let's dive into some of my galleries this is elizabeth and peter they got married last year and they are one of my favorite couples their day started off at a golf course um, with all of their friends and family and i hope everyone can see these pictures okay i'm gonna try not to scroll through too quickly after their fun morning on the golf course with all their friends, I'm going to show you one of my favorite photos, <laughs> hitting their golf balls off their, their morning beer cans. Um, these are the moments that I love to collect because this is real. This is what these boys were doing and I was there to capture it and that makes me so happy. One of my favorite photos. Let's see, let me get out of this really quick. Um, the cabin that they got married in was just whoo beautiful um and you can see some of the details of her dress and her outfit in this photo along with all the decor that was included in the cabin we didn't have to bring anything or do anything um i love using you know the natural scenery of whatever venue or outdoor place you choose to photograph all your details um, it's important to remember all that kind of stuff and all your getting ready moments of course um, some individual portraits throughout the day and then let's skip down to oh I actually love these moments between the bride and some of her girlfriends getting ready and then of course the boys moments this is also really important I love I love it when the boys or the girls, whoever. It's fun to have things to do during your day. Um, activities while you're getting ready, things like that, little things like that really make the day special to look back on as well, um, especially writing each other notes. Um, and the groom getting ready, I love these photos too. Let's move on to the ceremony. They had a stormy, stormy wedding day but the the clouds passed right over and the sun came out right as they were about to say i do 
And let me see where I wanted to show you guys. Genuine emotion. This is what I'm here to capture. I, I love being a background presence during these really important moments um, and then being the fun, open party girl during the reception because I love to get people dancing and I'm a good dancer. But these moments, I'll be in the background. I want to capture these really genuine smiles, genuine tears, moments of real, real purity of the day. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love her so much, Liz. And then, of course, we'll spend time together getting just portraits of you and your partner. Um, like I said, I love those Vogue cover shots. We're always going to get those really stylish shots, but I really love the in-between moments too. Um, I don't forget to include these moments because they, <laughs> like this one, she almost fell over. These are the moments that mean something too. You want to remember all these in-between documentary moments because they they will also make your day really, really special. Um, let's move on to Jamar and Nicole, just for a little bit more variety. These two got married with at a more traditional venue. And you can see they had a pretty big wedding. So this was all before um, COVID. But let's see. They had a very special ceremony in which right after they said their vows to one another, they washed each other's feet in a very beautiful Christian ceremony um, that really meant a lot. And uh, everyone got to watch. And it was really, really emotional time um, for the bride and groom. They spent almost two years apart before they actually got to get married. And so that was such a big big moment for them, um, especially including God into their ceremony in that very specific way. So that was so beautiful. And we took some time, we took a lot of time with these, with this couple to take family and group portraits because they had so many people that they wanted to be um, a part of their big day in the photos. So we we really took our time to make sure everyone got captured, especially in a fun way. Um, not just like, hey, look at me and smile, but in a really unique way too. Everyone have fun with it and give me attitude. I love it. Um, and then their reception was just so much fun too. The bride and groom made an excellent entrance um, to a country rap song, which I couldn't name, but it was unforgettable. And they were so much fun. What else can I show you about this? I hope I'm not scrolling through too fast. I encourage you to go look at these galleries on my website on your own. Um, let's look at Bill and Dustin. It's Pride Month. So Bill and Dustin, they, their love story is absolutely incredible. Um, they chose to get married indoors at a Denver venue um, that's actually no longer available, but just absolutely gorgeous, called Invisible City. They, Dustin actually did all the flowers and all the decorating himself, and their wedding was actually pretty small. There was only about 60 people in attendance in the crowd, and pretty untraditional in the sense of we had dinner before the wedding, and we built out a timeline that really worked for them and wasn't necessarily this traditional wedding day. Um, <laughs> and again, capturing all these in-between moments, one of the groom's fathers being silly, you don't wanna miss out on those moments and I'm there to capture that too. Um, and again, details around the venue, oh, it, I love those so much. And really connecting with my couples to make sure before the wedding day to make sure they're they're comfortable with me so that I can get all the little in-between moments um, without being a distraction. I am your friend. I've been your friend since before your wedding day. And when you see me, you smile because you know I'm here for you. 
Um, let's skip down to their ceremony. This, they, they played talking heads for the entrance and the exit. And I don't know if there's any other talking heads fans out there, but it was absolutely excellent. Their ceremony was so tearful and joyful and everyone was, everyone was crying. It was so beautiful. Genuine emotion like that. I can't talk about how, how important it is to me. Um, and to really take the time to feel those moments in the day, cherish those moments and yeah, really let them sink in. And yeah, gosh, look at these, he's crying reading his vows and I, I love those moments so much. Again, fan or fun family portraits, gotta take the time to have fun portraits, not just look at me and smile. And of course we'll get those too. We gotta have something for grandma to hang on her wall. Um, but genuine fun interaction between you and your best friends is so, so, so important to me. Um, I can see I only have about six minutes left. So I'm going to show you just a bit more of their portraitures and then jump into some other stuff. We really used a lot, utilized the building to set the mood and the vibe of their portraits. This gallery has actually been <laughs> featured a few times um, in from the Daisies magazine and then a few online stuff. It was so fun to shoot with them. They were so trusting of me, which really, really makes the day go smoothly when you can put your trust in me and know that I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure your photos are you, authentically you, and just the way you want them to be. Um, let's move on. So if you guys want to see any of my other portraits or uh, wedding galleries, I'm so happy to share them with you. I have just a whole list of galleries that you can you can ask me for access for to see their entire day, not just the stuff that's on my website. Um, and I'm happy to share that with you. Um, I also have extensive engagement shoots you can look at all around the state, adventure engagement shoots. Um, I know Idaho pretty darn well, at least the Smoky Mountains and the Satu National Forest, all the way up to the Clearwater National Forest and the Loxa River. Um, and I just love it so much and I'm so excited to be more in Idaho, sharing the Idaho community. Here is, oh, one more thing I wanted to share my, I just wanted to show you my wedding guide really quick. Um, this is something I send to all my couples. It really gives you an idea of how I work, how I operate, how I want to be a part of your day in every detail and how I can really help you make decisions and just be on your side, be on your team and ready to support you in any way, not just your photographer. Um, I might, I love to be a part of the planning process because I might see something that you don't and help you pivot or plan around it um, and where you're going to get ready, what you're going to do day of besides the regular wedding stuff, activities and all that stuff, and things to remember, things you might not think of. I This isn't my first rodeo. I've, you know, we've all done lots of weddings as wedding photographers, so lean on me. I want to be there for you to answer all your questions. Here is my contact information. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no. Um, we have a couple questions in just a couple minutes left, and I want to make sure that um, yeah, absolutely. we get Please time to answer them. So uh, first question, you mentioned, you mentioned that you're in Colorado. What does it cost to bring you to Idaho? So for the next month, I'm going to be offering free travel to any Idaho couple that wants to have me. Um, you don't have to pay for my flight, my hotel, or my rental car. Um, so that offer is through July... 13th, which is today, June, that would be one month. <laughs> so nothing, it costs you nothing. If you book within the next month, if you want me to be a part of your day, it doesn't cost you anything extra. Awesome. That sounds like a great deal. Um, so our next question we have is how can I get your wedding guide? So if you just email me, I would love, love, love to share that with you. Absolutely. I want you to keep in mind that this is this is a wedding guide that is based around my ideals around your wedding day. So 
I encourage you not to take this wedding guide to another photographer and show them like, this is how I want it to go. Choose your photographer based on who is going to make you the most comfortable and happiest on your day. Someone you think you can really be friends with. Um, so please take my wedding guide and do whatever you want with it, but choose, choose me because you think you're going to be one of my best friends and I want you to be a part of my family and me a part of yours. Awesome. All right, looks like we have about two minutes remaining. Um, so brides, if you have any additional questions, make sure you type them in the Q&A really quick. Um, any, anything else you wanna share today, Heather? Oh gosh, just that I love my job so much and being a part of your day is truly my honor. Um, I could work, I've worked corporate jobs. I've done lots of different things besides photography but I will always be a wedding photographer for as long as I can because it's something that truly brings me joy. So thank you for considering me for your big day. Awesome. Oh, one more question. Um, what about animals? Do you welcome animals in the shoots? Oh, yes, of course. I love dogs. I love cats. I love ferrets and birds and all of them. Please, please, please bring your pets. Um, I want to pet them and love them as much as I want to love you. All right, and it looks like we're just about at time. Um, thank you so much for being with us today, Heather. We really appreciate it. And um, brides, if you uh, would like to reach out to Heather, um, reach out as soon as possible. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, Amanda, how's it going? Are you muted? Say oh. that one more time, sorry. Yep, how's it going today? Good, thank you. Great, okay, I'm just gonna um, do a quick intro really quick and then the floor will be yours. Perfect, thank you. Okay, so thank you, Bryce, for joining us today for the virtual wedding show. Um, I would like to thank all of our sponsors today. Without their help, we would not be having this event. Um, and I would also like to thank Idaho Tents and Events as well as IBL Events. Um, I would like to remind everyone that these sessions are recorded. So if you miss someone today or you have to leave early, um, you can refer back to these sessions online later. They will be posted. Um, and the presenter contact information will also be available in the event schedule if you don't happen to write it down or take a screenshot. Uh, we will have Q&A available, so if you have any questions, please feel free to type them down below and we will get to them at the end of the presentation. And last item of business, in an effort to keep us on time today, um, I'll be coming back in with about five minutes remaining and we will answer any questions that you have typed up. So without further ado, here is Amanda with Five Ever Imagery. I'm going to stop sharing. Thank you. All right, Maria. the floor is yours. <laughs> All right, everyone. So uh, as you said, welcome. Um, thank you all so much for being here and congratulations on your upcoming weddings. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and go over a few things about me and kind of my business and things like that. Um, so as you said, my name is Amanda. Um, my business is Five of Our Imagery. So the way that that came up was um, my husband and I have this thing where um, every time I tell him I love him, he says, I love you too. I say, I love you forever. And he goes, no, I'll love you five ever. And I felt like that was super um, interesting to bring into like a wedding, like photography aspect, just because of the fact that when you're getting married, uh, you want to live or you want to have that love forever. And so why not five ever? Cause it's longer. Um, so that's kind of where the name came from. Um, it's something super sweet for me and my husband to enjoy. Um, a couple things I like about my business. So I have been doing weddings on and off for the last 11 years that I've been in business. Um, I really started getting into them more in like the last four or five years um, to where I'm doing more of them, just like one or two here and there. Um, and I've learned to really love it. Um, I love being able to help a bride through a stressful situation, um, whether it's, you know, 
um, just nailing down a timeline or making sure that um, Aunt Becky isn't over at you know the drink table when she should be getting pictures taken. So you know just those different types of things. Um, I went ahead before this because I was talking face to face with customers and and you know potential brides. So this is weird for me. <laughs> but I went ahead and asked some of my current brides and also some that have been inquiring with me kind of um, why, like why they are talking to me, why my name came up, those types of things. So a couple of things that they said um, that really interests them was my style. So as you can see, kind of, my video isn't the best. I'm a true to color photographer. Um, I like to make sure that my photos represent the day. So I like to make sure that my greens are green, my purples are purple, all those different things when I'm shooting um, and also when I'm editing. I don't like to um, change the color too much because I want you to remember your day exactly how it happened um, in the best way possible. Um, sorry, I'm gonna say um a lot. <laughs> uh, a couple things to know, like as far as like my pricing and things go, um, right now I am running a special for all 2020 weddings. So if you're getting married in 2020, um, definitely hit me up for this special. Um, I may run it into 2021, haven't quite decided yet. I don't have any bookings for then quite yet either. Um, but for right now, um, my normal prices are about $175 an hour plus tax. And then if you want a second photographer, it's an additional $75 an hour plus tax. Um, right now with 2020 weddings, I am doing a special for everyone because I know it's a crazy hectic time right now. So I'm doing $150 an hour. Um, there is a three hour minimum. Um, and then th that you, taxes are included on top of that. And then if you want a second photographer, it is $50 an hour instead of the 75. Um, so you kind of get a little break on that as well. Um, Sorry, just going through my notes here. <laughs> I want to make sure I'm getting everything in. Uh, it's weird not having someone to engage with. Sorry. Uh, so um, a couple of things that I've like asked, like I've asked for feedback on so that I can kind of describe to you um, my style, my business, those types of things. And three words came up a lot when asking about myself and like how things like how my business comes off to other people and my most recent clients have said that the three words that best describe my business and the way that I photograph is clean bright and genuine again sticking to the true to color I like to make sure that my images are crisp and clean and free of distractions in the background um, and I also like to make sure that they're not overly dark to the point where you're able to see everything that's going on and be able to really connect in the moment. Um, bear with me here. Um, and then a couple things that I do um, that's a little bit different I've noticed than other, um, other wedding photographers out there. And I haven't talked to many, so I don't know for sure. But one thing I know that stands out with my business is not only do you get the colored images like you see like behind me, um, you also get all of the, the images in black and white as well. That way you don't have to pick and choose like what your favorite is. Like if you maybe like the black and white better or like the color better, um, you don't have to choose um, with me. I do provide both. Um, I did put a little video together. Hopefully it'll play for us. I've been having some issue um, and I'll show that in a little bit but it does show like my black and white images in there as well. Uh, and then I also offer canvases, which is what you see behind me here. Um, they are both 16 by 20. So this is a vertical 16 by 20 and this is, or sorry, horizontal 16 by 20 and vertical 16 by 20. Um, and they're pretty thick, um, just depending on what you're looking for. So they're um, a pretty thick band on them those also come included so with um with my packages they're not actual packages i just do hourly so you can put all the things that you want in there and these are included on my pricing guide 
So you're able to add them onto your package before the wedding even starts. If that's something that you're, you know, like hundred percent that you want. And then once we get to the end of it, you see your gallery, you actually get to pick the images that go on these canvases that we're picking for you. Um, Sorry, I'm a little awkward. <laughs> uh, so a couple of things that I kind of wanted to touch base on, let like with me, um, a lot of my brides have been um, more like getting married at the park, like Marianne Williams, uh, Kristen Armstrong, right there next to the Independent Nature Center. Um, that was probably one of the prettiest weddings because we got to use the Nature Center for um, the photos as well. So we got all the flowers and everything. Um, so we, a lot of the photos that you'll see like on my website and on Instagram and in this video and things like that aren't going to be like the traditional wedding venues. So it kind of gives you an idea to, you know, see what your options are for other vendors and other venues as well. Um, so I think what I'll do, since we've got about 10 minutes left, I'm gonna go ahead and play this video. Um, it did have sound with it, but unfortunately, I um, did a test run earlier and it was coming through really choppy. So it won't have sound with it, but I'll do just a quick, like, it's just a few minutes long, um, so that way you can kind of get a feel for my style, uh, different parts throughout the day, things like that. Um, while this is playing, please feel free to type in any questions. Um, you know, ask anything that you may have. Uh, I want to make sure I'm answering all of your questions as much as I can, possibly can. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I do apologize, it is going a little bit faster um, just because I wanted to get a good variety of photos in to really kind of see different parts of other people's day. Um, normally on my website, you'll see just the posed photos of the bride and groom and not really see, um, you know, the other photos like the wedding party, dancing, things like that. So I just want to make sure that you're getting a good feel for. Um, different choppy different things that I've done. Um, this wedding was um, like everyone was dancing. I absolutely loved that because I don't have a lot of dancing shots in my portfolio. Um, and you'll kind of just get to see the love and laughter between everyone um, for the different receptions and things like that. And I do um, have lighting that I can bring with me for like darker weddings, uh, indoor weddings, weddings where we're meeting. Um, this extra light brought in to make the photos really pop. Um, I do have the lighting that I can bring with me on that. And I'm happy to answer any questions. If you happen to see a photo and you're like, where was that taken? I'm more than happy to let you know. Uh, what where they were taken and everything. Um, this is a Dutch rosewood. I don't know why, but they really enjoyed it. I uh, thought it was super cute. It was on a coffee cup the day that I did their engagement photos. So we just brought it with us to their wedding as well. It's a good feel for both indoor and outdoor photos here so you can kind of get an idea and then just some ring shot photos as well um, that photo there um, maybe not that exact one but one very similar to that um, was actually published in a magazine the, the ring shot that was just there and I have been published in um, quite a few magazines um, over the course of the last couple of years I think I'm at 10 now um, of just like just my images appearing in so that's kind of cool um, to see my work printed out. I find a clip for this photo so that they can have a heart of their family around them. And these are actually from this year. Um, we were lucky enough to get in for their wedding just before everything got closed down. 
Um, so these are actually my newest wedding photos um, that were just taken at the very beginning of this year um, before everything kind of got changed around for them. Perfect. Oops, well, it helps if I know how to work this thing. <laughs> And then um, I'm just going to go ahead and pop my pricing guide up on the screen as well. Um, so this year is just my pricing guide. I print this out and bring it to all my consultations with me. It really goes over everything that you have. Um, as far as my, it also has my website, my phone number, um, my email address. So you're welcome to reach out to me. Um, you can also reach out on Facebook or Instagram. It's just at five ever imagery, no spaces. Um, so you can see here kind of a breakdown of prices hourly, like I mentioned, the 175, but we do have a deal going on for 2020 um, and just kind of what's available for you in that. Um, second photographer and what's available with that. Uh, engagement session, if you want to add it on top of um, your package, just so it goes in. If you don't um, want to add an engagement session on top of your package and you just want to do it separately, it's the same 175 um, for the hour that um, my regular pricing is. And then anything up, up outside of 50 miles, um, I just charge that $25 rate. So it's um, not super expensive for me to travel to your big day if it's, you know, in a different part of Idaho or anything like that. And hey, Amanda. Can, yeah. Would you mind um, sharing a new screen to show that price sheet for everybody? Yeah, did it not pop up? Uh, it's still showing the um, the end of your slideshow. Oh no. I just wanna make sure everybody gets the opportunity to see all of your information. Yeah, no, thank you for letting me know because on my screen it's showing that it is there. Um, so I appreciate that. Of course. Um, and apparently my keyboard decided it doesn't wanna work now. <laughs> so you'll just have to um, go back down to your share screen button and then select um, share new screen, I believe it'll say. And then okay. you'll be able to select that. Oh, perfect. Sorry about that, guys. I thought it would, it would do it for me. All righty. Let's try this again. There we go. Okay. Oops. Clicked on the wrong thing. There we go. Can you see it now? Yes, it looks great. Perfect. Thank you. Sorry about that. Okay, here you go. There's the pricing list as I'm going through it and you can't even see it. Um, so down at the bottom, um, there is just my uh, website, phone number and email address if you're interested in reaching out. Um, and just kind of an idea of pricing. Um, I do have a separate one of these. I didn't, I didn't think that it would be uh, necessary for this 20 minute conversation to have the um, print pricing um, for like the canvases that I have behind me. But you do have, I can like send those over via email or uh, whatever we do there. So you'll have the option as well. Um, and then, man, I'm really bad at this today. Perfect. So um, I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing now. Uh, we got about four minutes left. Were there any questions? Yes, there are. Um, do you recommend doing family photos before the wedding starts? It is completely up to you. Um, I've had it go both ways. So one of my fam or one of my clients um, did where they did all the individual family photos together. So the bride and her family and then the groom and his family and they actually saw themselves like for the first time when she walked down the aisle and then they did like big family photos after. Um, and then just depending on kind of how you're feeling, if that's something you want, I do recommend that at the beginning. If it's not, then um, we can knock out all the family photos after. So everyone's included, um, including the groom and everything like that. Great. Um, is there a photo book that you offer or is it digital? So I do offer um, albums. They are um, an additional price, um, but you do get all of the images able to be downloaded or you can order a custom USB that actually has your picture on it as well. Great. And then how long does it take to get the photos after the wedding? Um, so it honestly depends on the situation. My contract shows um, eight to 12 weeks um, as the max, like 
the length of time. Um, sometimes I can get them out sooner than that. Sometimes I can get them out, um, you know, right within that time frame. It just honestly depends on um, how long the day was and, and what else is going on. Um, but I do keep in constant communication with you so you know when you'll be receiving your photos. And are you running any specials? Um, so right now, really the only special I have going on is just that $25 uh, dollar discount on my hourly rates. Um, so it'll be $150 an hour. I do have a three hour minimum and then there is taxes that are added on to that. Um, I'd be happy to provide any pricing quotes or anything like that if you want to shoot me a message, um, even on Facebook or anything like that. Wonderful. Um, so that's all the questions that we have. There's about one minute left. So um, Amanda, is there any parting words you'd like to leave? Uh, I just want to say thank you guys all so much for coming. This is the first time I've ever done something like this. So I um, am extremely thankful that you were here. And thank you for listening to me babble about myself for 20 minutes. <laughs> awesome job. Um, so Brides, if you would like to reach out to Amanda later on, feel free to reach out via her contact information that she shared. Um, and she'll, she'll get back to you as soon as she can. Um, thank, thank you so, so much, much Amanda. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. All righty, it looks like we ended a bit on the early side and I'm waiting for the next panelist. So um, I'm just gonna pull up our event schedule while I try to get them pulled up.